Hello everyone. Uh, today we'll be starting uh, with the fourth unit of uh, uh, this subject, manufacturing automation. The fourth uh, uh, chapter consists of machine system, and in this machine system, there are uh, four uh, different subtopics uh, related to conveyor. The first topic is conveyor. The second is induction, uh, indexer, and the synchronous machine. The third one is part feeder, and the fourth one is robots and robotics. So let us uh, see today in this uh, video or in this uh, lecture, we'll just cover that conveyor. Let us move further to that uh, next slide. Here you can see the uh, first is motors gearbox or uh, I mean, it is related to machine system. Motor gearbox bearing and the belts are combined within a, a frame to form a conveyor or the pneumatic actuator. Vibrator, thrusher, and sensor are built into the vibratory part feeder. So this is uh, again these all system together is called as the machine system. Now, manufacturer often concentrate their expertise into combining these technique into standard product, whereas custom machine builders use they use this system to create unique combination for each application. The meaning of this one is uh, like you can say that gearbox, motors, bearings and the belts are combined in that frame or in a mechanism and it will form a conveyor or you can say that uh, it will be a uh, mechanism and uh, that mechanism can be called as the conveyor. I uh, mean uh, uh, can be used for uh, transporting the different type of uh, different type of product equipment or anything and uh, these technique can be combined and the standard product whereas custom machine builder uses these system to create unique combination for each application now let us start or let us see that conveyor and this uh, lecture will just finish that conveyor the conveyors are used to move object or the substance from one point to or anything or any substance or the any object once uh, it is uh, it can be moved very easily with the help of conveyor you may have seen uh, the conveyor in uh, different uh, places like you can see that uh, for uh, loading or the unloading the luggage in the uh, aircraft or you can say that sometime transferring uh, the people from uh, the ground floor to the first floor, uh, there will be conveyor, that escalator it is called. So these type of conveyors are there. So they can take many form, are usually driven by motor, air or the gravity. So these are the different means of uh, giving power to the conveyor. The large conveyor system often have a centralized control system and it can be called as the PX, so programmable or logic control. Because of long distance associated with the conveyor system, sensor and actuators were historically often operated at 120 volt days. However, with advance in technology using distributed input output and the modern safety regulation, 24 volt DC systems are nowadays it is used. Previously it was 120 volt DC, now it is 24 volt DC. So that uh, you will not get any shock or any hazard uh, should not. And obviously these are uh, controlled by the programmable logic control. So this is one thing. Now uh, in this one again that human machine interface is also there. And uh, there will be emergency stop in that conveyor uh, by which we can stop the conveyor also. Now, uh, here in this uh, figure, you can see that how that conveyor, so there are different type of conveyor. It can be the roller or uh, or it can be, the each roller can be powered or it can be belt conveyor, it can be chain conveyor or uh, there are uh, different type of uh, conveyor. So we'll see all these things. Uh, or it can be a vibrating conveyor also or uh, it can be that uh, with the help of pneumatic or the air, that uh, transportation can take place. So it is called as the pneumatic conveyor. 
Now let us see the first type of conveyor that is the belt conveyor. It is the most common type. A belt conveyor consists of two or more pulley or the roller with a continuous loop of material with the conveyor belt rotating around them. So this is one thing. Now uh, one or both of the pulley may be powered. Moving the belt and the material on the uh, belt forward. Powered pulley or roller are called drive or driven element while the undriven roller or pulley are called as the idler or supporter. So some uh, pulleys can be powered means uh, there will be driver and the another may be the driven element or the driven pulley. So idler may also be located on the underside of conveyor for support of the return strand of belt. So that idler is basically supporting so that uh, there uh, will not be any thrust only on the, uh, it will give support to the, basically to the belt. That's why it is called as the idler and there will not be any power to that. So it becomes the idler. Now, uh, belt may be of different material, The how the belt is formed. Many different material ranging from rubber or the plastic component to the metal mesh also. So there may be different type of uh, rubbers also, hard rubber, soft rubber. And there may be different type of plastic compounds also and the metal mesh. So that the main purpose is uh, it should roll and it should move uh, easily. It should not be heavy or it should not uh, consume more power to drive. Many belts are made of a composite with an under layer uh, for strength and cover material to protect the, protect the product. Which is uh, the product will be placed on the front. Belt conveyor are easily used in application requiring a solid surface, whereas material cannot be easily passed across the rod. Belt material often chosen based on the strength requirement or the load, whatever the load that belt conveyor is carrying, based on that, the material can be chosen and the amount of friction required and the environment they are exposed to. Some of the conveyor, like suppose uh, in the factory or in manufacturing organization, you have to uh, transfer uh, the hot. Uh, iron bar sometime. Then in that case the conveyor uh, will be uh, made up of uh, in that uh, uh, the hard material so that it should not uh, high melting point and should not melt with the hot iron and it should work efficiently. So there are different use of the conveyor and according to the use the material is chosen. Now here you can see uh, cleated inclined weight. The type of conveyor is also there. So in this one here you can see there is a roller here, here is the motor, motor will transfer the power uh, with the help of gear it can be transferred the power to this one and from here the belt will be rotated and from inside there is another pulley, one pulley is here, another pulley is here and these two pulley it will act, one pulley is powered, another is just supported and in between there is idler pulley, here it, at each places there is other idler pulley so that belt uh, moves on this one and the product can be kept here and it can be transferred to the certain height and the product can drop here. So for uh, transfer of coal in the power plant and the other purpose this type of belt conveyor can be used. Now another is the roller conveyor. A roller conveyor can take several forms like you have seen uh, earlier that uh, roller form. Here is a picture here this one is a uh, roller conveyor. In that uh, roller conveyor, some of the roll or rollers are powered, not all. And depending upon the size of the product, the automatically the powered roller will push the product to the next ro roller, and due to this uh, pushing force, it will go to the another uh, by moving on the idler uh, roller, it will move to the another powered roller. And this way, the transportation of product uh, occurs. So now uh, let us see the theory. The rollers are uh, usually a metal shell with a shaft on each end and uh, they may be powered or unpowered, belt or chain driven or even series of individual power rollers. So there are different types. So depending upon the weight and the material being conveyed, roller may be thin wall aluminium or heavier gauge, steel, rubber coated or indi individually gravity skate wheel, like skating wheel type of roller is also. The roller conveyor are usually used for moving packages with flat bottom like boxes and sides should be slightly moved so that it can easily pass from uh, one roller to the other. It should not be 
uh, such is small that they should not lie only on the couple or uh, the three you know there should be length of uh, the box the length should be also the lorry should be spaced so that uh, at least three lorries are underneath the package at any time this is important and uh, and out of three the one roller can be found so this way and you know, this roller conveyor is there and metal chain can uh, chain can be used to drive the roller a single chain can be used to drive all the uh, roller or the roller can be linked together with roller to roller link so this is also can be uh, another uh, way of driving the roller it can be attached with the chain uh one roller to the other or series of roller can be attached with the chain and chain uh, may be powered with the power motor and so that the power goes to all the roller the greater number of spro sprocket teeth in contact with the chain allows for the heavier load sprocket teeth means like bicycle sprocket you have seen or bicycle sprocket teeth you have seen and on, on that way the chain uh, rotates so this is the main purpose uh, of this uh, means main uh, thing in the roller conveyor and by which the job can be done the gravity roller conveyor may be a roller or the skate wheel type because with the help of gravity if it is inclined okay, with the help of gravity automatically the product or the box containing the product will move uh, or uh, by the pull of gravity it will automatically uh, then uh, in that case the power may not be required so these unpowered conveyor are usually used in short horizontal run where operator push product from one end to the other or when product drop from one level to the another and automatically it reaches to the another uh, end of the uh, uh, roller conveyor so this is uh, one type here already you have seen and it can be the roller conveyor can be straight or the roller conveyor can be from uh, one direction to the other so product will flow from here and it will come to this roller or from uh, this roller the product will fall here and automatically it goes in this direction so this is roller conveyor. now the third uh, type in this one is uh, chain or the uh, mat mat conveyor so chain conveyor you know that chain conveyor uh, as the name suggests chain conveyor uses a continuous chain that runs from one sprocket to another at each end of the train pendants or the container may be attached to the chain for product containment and the transport a table tip chain can be composed of thermoplastic material or the metal and table tip uh, top chain conveyor are not placed under tension like a belt conveyor since the since a sprocket is used to drive the chain conveyors may also be used for suspending part or the pendant so this way chain or the mat conveyor uh, is uh, utilized or it can be used the so chain and the mat conveyor is usually driven by ac motor often with the variable speed drive for speed control the so chain and mat conveyor with uh, Cleat may may also be driven with a servo for indexing purpose. Typically, this is done using a sensor at the cleat for stopping the indexing motion and verifying position. Uh, this is also uh, can be done with the in this type of uh, arrangement is there in the chain conveyor. Like you can it can be driven with the AC motor with the very cap or the variable. a uh, capacitor so that the speed can be varied or the speed can be controlled in the fast and the slow it can be done and uh, sometime it is used uh, for the indexing purpose also so that the particular uh, type of or the particular distance it will be very precise distance so that it can be used for the indexing like you can say that with the help of induction we can manufacture this spur same type of mechanism is also there and typically this is done using a sensor at the cleat for stopping the indexing motion and verifying so with the help of sensor we can use this we can verify the position and we can uh, stop the motion or the motor at a particular and very precise position that's why it is called as the indexing motion so this uh, uh, is the 
chain or the MAC number. So here you can see the tabletop chain convey. So here uh, uh, this one is the mat and this mat is driven by the chain attached below to this one. So mat is placed or the you can say that over the chain that mat is placed and the product can be transferred from uh, uh, for very long distance without uh, uh, you can say that it can be very accurate the motion can be very accurate with the help of because uh, there will not be any slip in this so that's why uh, this is the another important thing in the chain right now next is uh, vibrating conveyor now uh, generally this vibrating conveyor is used for the moving bulk of material bulk of material like you can uh, the best example is uh, you want to transfer uh, the coal uh, from uh, uh, the yard to the power plant or uh, from in the yard itself from one position to the another so this way the vibrating conveyors are used for uh, moving the bulk material sometimes called the shaker or the shaker table they have a solid conveying surface with side to contain the material being conveyed in the from the side it is slightly uh, projected so that the material is confined on the on the uh, you can say that uh, conveyor itself food grade application use vibrating conveyor extensively because vibrating conveyors are often made of stainless steel and can be easily coated with the material such as Teflon, they are suitable for wash down or, and corrosive. So that's why it is used for the food grade application. Now, uh, the vibrating conveyors have the low maintenance and excellent for sanitary applications. And it is safe also. That's why the vibrating conveyor is uh, used for the food grade uh, material. And uh, with this, uh, uh, we can transfer the uh, means it is safe and for any type of application. This uh, means where that food items are involved, this can be used. Now, they are also used in the application for uh, sorting, screening, classifying, and the orienting part because it has the vibration. So, automatically, if the material can be sorted or the lighter material can be above and the heavier material can be below and uh, with that uh, the vibration automatically it will be there. Sometimes the vibrating conveyor can be used for the screening from the smaller material to or heavier material to the lighter, uh, lighter material. Classifying also and the orienting. Automatically with the vibration the parts can be oriented. The accessories for vibrating conveyor include the counterbalance member uh, for reducing reaction by generating an opt out phase response to conveyor motion and weighted base bases with isolation spring to reduce the transmitted vibration. So, means uh, since the vibration is there, that's why some accessories are required so that the vibration should not go to the uh, you can say that power unit or the driven unit or to the if the motor is the driver, then it should not go. For that purpose, a weighted base with the isolation spring is also used so that it will absorb that vibration or it will reduce the vibration uh, and the vibration will not be transferred to that uh, motor. So, air knife separators uh, are an air driven method of separating different weight material. So, this is with the blow of air which is called as the air knife, separa air knife uh, separator. Uh, you can uh, separate that material. Suppose the uh, coal is having uh, some different, uh, some type of uh, dust particle, or even you can say that uh, paper or the leaf, anything. With the help of this air knife uh, separator, uh, with the flow of air, that can be separated. They are sometimes used with vibrating conveyor as the sanitary non contact method of diverting. With the help of air, we can divert the material and uh, we can uh, the non contact without uh, touching that uh, material on the conveyor will be able to divert the material so with uh, this one uh, like uh, in food grade industry if you have the beet floor or uh, some lighter uh, thing like some 
energy product and it can be with the help of air without touching it can be transferred to the uh, required uh, place so this way it can be done then uh, uh, the last one in this one uh, conveyor is the pneumatic conveyor and after that what of the accessories uh, required for the conveyor so uh, the next is the pneumatic conveyor uses pipes or duct to transport material using a stream of air and uh, with the air stream the material can be the most commonly transported material using this method is a dry pulverized or free flowing uh, powdery material like pulverized coal uh, in that power plant there will be coal mill and in that coal mill you are uh, pulverizing or you can say that you are uh, uh, crushing the coal to the very fine particles and that fine particle size coal can be transported to the boiler inside the boiler with the help of air then it can be called as a pneumatic the carrier can also be transported using air uh, item can simply be pushed from one location to the another using a push or pull pressure system and with that uh, it can be transferred from one place to So there are three basic system that are used in generating high velocity air steam for uh, conveyor and uh, the first one is suction or the vacuum system can be used use a vacuum create in the pipeline to draw the material with the surrounding air the system is operated at a low pressure usually 0.4 to 0.5 atmosphere of pressure and this method is used mainly in conveying light free flowing material like you can say that uh, coal particle or the pulverized coal or the very uh, thin particle or you can say that small particle of coal can be trans uh, transported from uh, ball mill or from the coal mill uh, to that uh, boil then second is the pressure type steam system use a positive pressure to push material from one point to the one point to the next first one was the suction of the vacuum another is the pressure so it is opposite of that the system is ideal for conveying material from one loading point to a number of unloading point and the pressure generally it is 6 atmosphere and no more less than 6 atmosphere is generally not used more than 6 atmosphere is used. now third is the combination of these two suction system as well as uh, the pressure system the suction system to convey the material from one number of loading point and a pressure system to deliver to a number of unload so this can be combined and this is the third type air pressure may be generated using an industrial blower or the fan how to generate the air pressure with the blower or the fan alternatively compressed air can be also used for a small volume application so this is the thing then uh, the accessories uh, related to the conveyor system and with this it will in that uh, this uh, topic in addition to conveying component there are various devices that are used to guide product in conveying system so diverters are used to move product in a transfer direction to the direction of the conveyor so from one direction to the perpendicular direction the diverters are So this is one accessory. Uh, Sometimes called the plows when used to for used for bulk material, diverts usually having have a pivot point at one. Then uh, it is called as the plow. Diverter can be used with belt roller and the chain. Okay? And pneumatic system diverter are also used, uh, also common. Means with the help of air we can divert. And diverter usually uses air cylinder. for actuators but servo operated diverter diverters are also common where multiple positions are required so this is the one accessory that is diverter then another is a pusher are used to move object at right angle to the conveyor from one angle to the conveyor, another angle to the conveyor the diverter purpose was also more or less it is same and uh, uh, diverter generally uses the pneumatic now pushers are used to push the object from one direction to the other and they are usually pneumatically operated and are often used in roller conveyor however 
they are not appropriate for the build. In roller conveyor, you have seen the previous photo. We can go to that uh, slide, and in this one, uh, you can see here from one direction to the other. From here it is coming and it is moving to that parallel uh, perpendicular. So this is one accessories. And uh, mm, now there is they are also the pneumatically operated and are often used in the roller conveyor. However, they are not appropriate for the wet car. Gates and lift uh, uh, can be used to allow passage of personals and uh, vehicles. These are essentially self-contained conveyor on hinges. So this is gates and lift uh, is another accessory. So, uh, with the gates and the lift, uh, the personal can be transferred. Now elevators are uh, also used to move product from one conveyor level to the other. From one level, the elevator are also used. Means it is like a lift. If you lift. Uh, from one conveyor and it will put on the another conveyor which is at the another height. So this may be pneumatically or motor operated and it will include a short length of conveyor within the lifting platform. It is a short length of conveyor and within the lifting and it will reach the lifting platform. From lifting platform the conveyor uh, lifts the product and it will go to the another height. So, this all are the different type of accessories and today we will stop here in the next lecture we will see that another type of uh, uh, you can say that uh, uh, machine assistant is uh, indexer and synchronous machines then it comes out with a part feeder and the last one is robot and the robot. So subsequently uh, the another lecture we will see here. We'll stop here. Uh, thank you.